Los Angeles recently buzzed with excitement during the sixth anniversary celebration of This is About Humanity, but one notable absence had everyone talking. Meghan Markle. Despite a star-studded guest list featuring big names like Lauren Sanchez, Eva Longoria, Jordana Brewster, Julian Hoff, MJ Rodriguez, Henry Winkler, Zoe Saldana, Kate Del Castillo, and Carolina Bordino, Meghan and her mother, Doria Ragland, were nowhere to be seen. The gala was held to honor Florence Azria for her incredible contributions to Tia's food relief initiatives, which provide over a million meals annually. While the event was filled with glitz, glamour, and perfectly styled attendees, the real drama seemed to unfold behind the scenes, far away from the red carpet. Founded in 2018 by Elsa Marie Collins, Zoe Winkler Rainies, and Yolanda Celine Walthermead, This Is About Humanity focuses on addressing the humanitarian crisis caused by family separation in border cities. The event was attended by a roster of impeccably dressed women contrasting sharply with the image many might have of Meghan Markle if she had attended. One can only speculate how Meghan would have stood out in a crowd where every outfit and hairstyle was perfectly on point. Imagining her in anything less than a flawless ensemble is, understandably, quite unsettling. Interestingly, last year, Meghan's mother, Doria Ragland, attended the event and mingled with stars like Kris Jenner and Kim Kardashian. Photos of Raglan's presence highlighted her place within this high-profile circle. Recently, Kris Jenner had the opportunity to try Meghan Markle's latest venture, a jar of her lifestyle brand's American Riviera Orchard Jam. Jenner shared this exclusive gift on social media, noting that she was the 13th recipient, a gesture that didn't go unnoticed by royal critics. The internet exploded with comments questioning the quality of Markle's product and the authenticity of Jenner's endorsement. Critics lambasted the jam, calling it a flop and mocking Meghan's dwindling social cash. But the real twist in this Hollywood drama comes courtesy of Lauren Sanchez, girlfriend of Amazon founder Jeff Bezos. According to Insider Reports, Sanchez orchestrated a cunning plan to keep Markle away from the soiree. Allegedly feeling overshadowed by Meghan's growing media presence, Sanchez devised a scheme to divert her attention elsewhere. Last year, Sanchez reportedly offered Meghan and Harry a private jet to attend a movie premiere in Jamaica, specifically to ensure they missed the Beverly Hills bash. Unbeknownst to Markle, this was all part of Sanchez's elaborate ruse. The Sussexes boarded the jet, only to face a chilly reception at the premiere of Bob Marley, One Love at Kingston's Carib Theater. They encountered hostile reactions from the film's producers, stars, and some disapproving locals who accused them of disrespecting Jamaican culture and Bob Marley's legacy. What was meant to be a glamorous escape turned into a public relations disaster, leaving Meghan and Harry humiliated. Reports suggest that Sanchez's ploy was a calculated move to ensure that Hollywood could enjoy an uninterrupted evening of celebration, free from the disruptive presence of the couple. The Times later revealed that the Sussexes were flown to Jamaica by a private jet courtesy of Paramount Pictures, the production company behind the biopic. Sanchez's devious maneuver to sideline them underscores a growing trend of celebrities finding increasingly creative ways to handle unwanted guests. In the end, Meghan Markle's absence from the This Is About Humanity soiree speaks volumes. Whether it was Sanchez's Machiavellian plotting or simply a matter of shifting social dynamics, Megan's missing presence at the event highlights the evolving and often treacherous landscape of celebrity social circles. As Hollywood parties on, Markle finds herself on the outside looking in, with her reputation taking yet another hit in an increasingly dramatic public saga.